So I just realized that I forgot to do bottom lash mascara. Um, so in the intro clips and for the rest of the video, I'm not gonna have it on, so if I look a bit weird, that's why. I don't have enough space on my card to redo the intro. But I don't know how I forgot. Bless me. I need to like calm down, like I need Jesus. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm basically gonna be testing out a bunch of makeup that I bought in America. If you have not already seen my LA vlog, I'm gonna leave it linked in the description box down below so you can go check that out. But recently I went to LA, of course I did an unhealthy amount of makeup shopping. I need to go to like Sephora Anonymous. I've got a full haul coming next week, so subscribe to my channel. You do not wanna miss that. It's gonna be one of the biggest America hauls of your life. Yeah, I'm basically just, it's basically just the first impressions of American makeup. I did see Soph Does Nails do this, so if you don't already watch her, you definitely should. Give this video a thumbs up, click the bell notifications because YouTube is trying to test us. And let's just get on into the videos because my intros are always so long. Is this squint? I can't even tell. Right, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be using some Tape. I've already done my eyebrows and primed my eyes, obviously. If you wanna know what products I use for my eyebrows and for my eyes, They'll be linked down below along with all the other products that I use in this video. For eyeshadow today, I picked up from Ulta the Shan XO BH Cosmetics palette. And it's also a lipstick palette, but I mean, I'm not going to use the lipstick. <laughs> Why would I apply it with a brush if I could just apply it straight out of the, like, bullet or whatever it's called? Okay, right, well, I don't need that. And, oh, wow, it comes with a mirror. This was cheap as well. I don't know the exact price, but it'll be linked down below if you want to know it. Eyeshadow colors are so pretty. I didn't even look at this palette before I bought it. I hate myself, but the eyeshadow colors are actually so pretty. Okay, right, um, do we not have names for these? I'm going to take this shade here as my transition shade. And I can use the mirror from the palette. <laughs> Oh my god, don't you just love using like a new mirror? It's like you get a new set of eyes because the mirror is so clean. But I did actually quite like that shade. Especially for the price, BH Cosmetics shadows are so good. You know, just really building up the colour before we cut the creep. Build it up. 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 Majority of the shades in here are shimmer shades, so that's an issue. Uh, I'm going to go with this shade here. Oh god, this shade was not what I was expecting it to be. <gasps> Maybe we're perfect strangers. God, I'm gonna get copyrighted because that sounded so much like the original. Okay, I don't really know what to do now because this eye now looks like So I don't really want to do it on this eye. You know what, I I've started this. I'm just gonna have to keep rolling with it. Okay, I just dropped like all my eyeshadow brushes. Blending is the key. You've broken your arm? Blend. You've been cheated on? Blend. You accidentally ate nuts when you are allergic to them? Blend. Now going in a bit more with that transition shade. I'm in such a weird mood today, so I would just like to apologize for that. You know when you hate your makeup look, but you know it's too late to turn back now. The lighting keeps changing, I'm sorry, but um palette blended out super nicely to be honest and I feel like I'm so far away I should probably move a bit closer. Next I'm just gonna cut the crease using my favorite thing to cut my crease the Benefit Boing Concealer. Ow my eyeball! By the way the best brush for cut creases is the Real Techniques Detailer Brush. Is this even called the Detailer Brush or am I lying? No it is called the Detailer Brush. You need it in your life. Thank you. You know, our eyes are kind of looking a little bit different, but that will be fixed later on because the lashes are just going to cover up, to be honest. <laughs> I know recently in videos, in like my um, first impression kind of videos, I've not really been like showing you how I do my makeup. But if you guys want like how to cut crease, how to do eyeliner, videos like that, then let me know in the comments down below and I can film those. Then to set that concealer, I'm taking, okay, let's not blind the viewers, please. I'm taking this shade up here. It's just like a matte white. Then at the start of the show, it... Okay, nothing's broken. I need to like calm down, like I need Jesus. The star of the show is the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment. So I picked up this because I swatched this. 
and I just about died in Sephora. Like the employees had 911 on the line before I went <gasps> and I breathed again and they were like, oh, thank God. It is like basically this eye pigment. I mean, that's what it's called, obviously. So it just looks like that on my finger. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, maybe if it focuses. And then when you like swatch it out, look at that. I'm just gonna place it where I cut my crease. <gasps> It's so pretty. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God, I actually need every single one of these. No, that is actually stunning. So unfortunately, devastation hit the nation today um, when I couldn't find my favorite eyeliner. So instead, I'm gonna be using a mix of other eyeliners. There's one from NYX, one from Too Faced, and the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. All three will be linked down below. My wing is not perfect, so I have to pray to the makeup gods instead of Amen, we say Sephora, Sephora. But yeah, just wish me luck, please. So for lashes today, they are... <coughs> <coughs> They are the Huda Beauty Lashes in the style Bearer number 12. And they are foam ink, so vegans don't come for me, thanks. I didn't really show me much applying my eyeliner just because this is kind of like a first impressions and I don't have a new eyeliner, but whatever. <coughs> Bless me. Um, where have my tweezers gone? God's sake, why do I lose everything? Oh my God, where have they actually gone? I swear to God, like my room is a TARDIS. I put something down and it just disappears for seven days. Oh, they're here. Found them. I love Huda Beauty lashes, but I would never wear them if I wasn't wearing eyeliner because they have a very thick lash band. If that's something you don't like, then I wouldn't recommend Huda's lashes. And they look really nice with this look. Alrighty. Moving on to my face. Primer, I picked up the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I've been wanting to try this for so long now. The bottle is so cool. Again, as I said earlier, I can't remember the prices for all of these things, but it'll all be listed in the description box. How much do I need? Is that enough? Let's try it. Oh, it smells so nice. I can't, I'm so bad with describing scents, so um, I'm gonna go with smelly, but in a good way. This is nothing new, it's my Mac Fix Plus. I always, let me, let me, that is why I need to close my mouth when I spray. I, <laughs> uh, still went in. I always spray my face. If you have dry skin, before you put on your foundation, spray some. It doesn't even have to be Mac Fix Plus. It could be like, there's so many drugstore sprays. So I have the Wet n Wild Foundation Photo Focus. <laughs> God. I can't open this. I think that's when I know I need to actually get in the gym and gain some muscles if I can't open a foundation lid. I actually can't. Is it a pull? Oh, yeah, it's a pull. Oh, I think I broke it. I'm starting to think maybe it wasn't a pull. Ugh. Did it! It was a twist. Oh, God, that's an interesting applicator. Oh, my God, this feels so weird. Oh! Crap. I almost went all over my clothes. I'm not quite sure how I'm feeling about this applicator. It kind of smells like, um, apples. Okay, I am here for this foundation. Wow. It was like so cheap from the drugstore. Oh my, I'm properly obsessed with that, wow. For concealer, I'm trying out the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. Apparently a little bit goes a very long way, so I'm literally just gonna do a little dot. The packaging is so cool. These products are so hard to open. Like, the packaging is so confusing on all of it. Done it. I'm a genius. Call me Albert Einstein. Oh, it's very thick and, like, sticky. I'm just gonna... I feel like that's probably gonna be too much, but... Okay, this is definitely not the brush I want to be using with this. Oh my god, I can't blend this. Oh my god, I'm sorry, but that is the definition of not cleaning your brushes. Oh my god, it looks absolutely terrifying in the viewfinder, but in real life it does not look that okay, kind of does. I need to get some powder to powder that. Okay, it looks a little bit crazy. I have concealers which I prefer. If you have very bad dark under eyes, maybe that concealer might be for you. It was, it was, it did the job. 
you know. Moving on to bronzer, I have this, the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. We'll give it a shot, you know. Oh, I don't have a beauty blender though. Well, I do, but it's not wet. To be honest, I don't even care. I swear to God, okay, it's here, never mind. I'm actually gonna make it thicker on the other side because I felt, oh, I dropped the lid. Okay, wow, right, oh my god, this was bad. I did that way too thick. Oh no. You know what, we're just gonna have to make it work. Okay, wow, the face is really letting the eyes down. The face is really attacking me. Karma is, in fact, real. My bronzer is what I'm really excited about. So I got the fish, the physician's formula butter bronzer. I've seen so many Americans talk about physician's formula's bronzer. Oh my god, this smells amazing. It smells of coconut and just like a beach. I'm just gonna bronze up my face. Oh my god, the smell is actually making me hungry. I don't know why, because I don't even like the taste of coconut. Oh, I really like that bronzer. Oh! For blusher, I'm trying this one from Urban Decay. I didn't actually buy this in America, but you know, I've not tried it yet. So let's try it out now. It's in the shade Betty. Why a bright shade? Usually I go for like nudie peachy blushes, but. I'm sorry, I can't look at my under eye. Oh, it's really just, it, it really just is not working for me. For highlight, I've got a new Becca one because Becca's highlighters are one of my favorite formulas. And this is in the shade Opal. And as you can see, I may have accidentally already used this on purpose. I may have just like literally as soon as I left Sephora put it on. <laughs> it's literally one of my new favorite highlighters. Oh, man. Heading back into the Sean XO palette, I'm gonna take the middle top row shade here. To be fair, this is the best palette I've tried, like, price to quality wise. Obviously, I've tried better palettes. Ratio to price to quality, this one is probably the, the best. To smoke out my lower lash line, I'm grabbing the lead on, oh my god, what am I doing? This one right here. I'm really excited because for my inner corner, I finally got a Makeup Forever Starlet Powder. This one is in the shade 13. <gasps> oh my god, I need to move close, guys. You need to see this. Wow. Wow. Just gonna spray my face a little bit more because that is like my hobby. Like my hobby is spraying my face with setting spray. And then for lips, I've got also from Makeup Forever their liquid lipstick in the shade 103. I love me some nudes, so I can't wait to see what this looks like. Oh wow, this is like really creamy and buttery. It's got quite an unusual smell. It's not bad, it's just unusual. And there we go. That is the tutorial. That is the tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, click the subscribe button down below. I will see you guys very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys. That's a wrap.